Hello all, welcome to another edition of Quick Excel. Today we're going to be going through a two-way match with the index function. So what do I mean by that? So let's say we have a table here of food sales by month. If somehow I want to look up pizza sales for January, I have to find this cell. And if I want to look up breadsticks for March, I have to look up this cell. So a VLOOKUP is not going to work in this case as the data is structured here. So we're going to have to use something else. So the first thing you have to understand to do this two-way match is how the match function works. So let's first look at the match function. So match returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting, but what does that actually mean? So the lookup value here is we're going to look up pizza. And the lookup array here is this column of values that has the food items. And we're going to lock that so then when we drag it down, it'll still work. And we're going to do zero so that's an exact match. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then so you'll see we're getting values one, two, three. What does that mean? So what that is is it's looking up pizza in these list of values and it's saying pizza is the first item, breadsticks is the second item, and pasta is the third item. Okay. So now we have to do also a match for the month. So we do the same thing. We go match, look up value. This time we're going to look up month. And look up array this time is going to be this row. And we're going to lock that. And then we're going to do an exact match again. And we got one. So January is the first item in that list. And March is the third and May is the fifth, as you would expect. So how do we put those two things together? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the index function to do that. So index returns a value or a reference of the cells at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range. So basically you feed it a column, you feed it a row, and it pulls back that number for you. So we got to specify the array first, and that's our array of values here. And we're going to lock that so we can drag it down using the F4 key. And now we need a row number. So we're going to put in that match again. So that match is going to look pizza. We're going to look it up in this list of values. F4 to lock, lock it. And we're going for the exact match. So that gives us our row number. Now we need the column number. Same way. Match. We're looking up the month this time, and we're looking up in this row of values to find the column number, and we're going to do an exact match again. And so we've got everything we need now for this index function to do this two-way match. So we close off with the last parentheses, and you'll see pizza in January. We had sales of 165. We drag this down. Breadsticks in March, we had sales of 14. And pasta in May, we had sales of 134. So there you go. That's how you do a two way match across rows and columns using the index function. If you learned something, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to Quick Excel. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much.